Everyone has heard expressions such as a picture is worth a thousand words and seeing is believing. Even though we might not always realize it, visual communication is one of the most important aspects of human communication. According to the syntactic theory of visual communication, mediated words and pictures have equal importance in the communication process. Lester, 2006. Although written and verbal communication are long-touted traditionally rich forms of communication, the importance of visual communication is demonstrated through early humans' use of pictographs and hieroglyphics to send messages. Visual communication plays a very important role in the news industry. Back before imaging technologies were invented, news was based in written communication. Nowadays, however, visual communication is just as important as a written component, if not more. News organizations can also use visual communication to frame their news stories. Producers choose exactly which shots to include and which perspective the story takes. Images are also especially important when it comes to political news because they can be used to persuade a viewer much more effectively than other forms of communication. Kellerman, 1992. In The Role of Images in Framing News Stories, Paul Massaris and Linus Abraham talk about the qualities of visual images that allow them to be powerful tools in news framing. Images are analogical, meaning they look like the things they represent, and they give viewers a sense of connection to the object in question. Massaris and Abraham, 2003. In times of tragedy, many people feel the need to see a visual of the information they read about. News coverage of tragedies often continuously replays images from the scene of the event. After 9-11 happened, news organizations often showed disturbing images of the towers despite some people's complaints. Nowadays, many people, especially younger generations, tend to get most of their news from the internet. Websites like reddit.com and Twitter make it easy for people to read through short descriptions of news stories, choosing whether to follow the link to the full story or not. Tweets about news stories often include a visual component. Sometimes, the tweet includes a link to a picture. Other times, the tweet includes a link to a video about the news story. Tweets about news that include a visual component are often retweeted more than stories without a visual component. As you can see here, this USA Today story only got 12 retweets, while this CNN story has 54. The CNN story leads to a video about the news piece. The following is a good example of how media professionals can use visual communication to shape a news story. Watch as footage of Hurricane Katrina damage is shown as the journalist, Brian Williams, simply speaks over it. The appalling images can almost tell the whole story themselves. Tonight, entire towns have been wiped out around Gulfport, Mississippi. A local mayor says this is our tsunami. Underwater, here in New Orleans tonight, after the giant storm came the rising waters. Over 80% of the city is flooded. And a survivor story. One man clings to a tree when the storm surge hits and now picks through what's left of his home and his life. Special edition of NBC Nightly News with Ryan Williams reporting tonight from New Orleans. The damage here along the Gulf Coast is catastrophic. There's a frantic effort underway tonight to find survivors. There are an uncounted number of the dead tonight. Looting was everywhere. In a city with no basic human services, there is little police can do. Today, we found the body of a dead man on a street corner. Mother Nature, we're just going to deal with it, with all we have. Modern day news producers are well aware of the influence visual components can have on an individual. Visual competence continues to remain an integral part of media literacy. Griffin, 2008. As the news industry adapts to the internet age, it is safe to say that visual communication will remain an important part of information distribution.